today we start as a dynasty with one living member. And our challenge is to get our dynasty complete control of India without starting any offensive wars, forcing us to use marriages and most importantly schemes to rise our family to the top from the shadows. Also, if everybody watching this subscribed, I'd hit my new goal in no time and it would honestly mean the world to me. Thank you. It has been a little while, but we are back with more intrigue gameplay. The last time we did this was a few months ago and we did play like in Britain. But I thought, you know what? Why not come down by India and see what we can take control of without doing any offensive wars? So that is our goal. Basically, we want to get as much family on as many thrones as possible without actually declaring war and going through it that way. So we're starting off right down here. It's a nice little base, kind of out of the way. It does have one issue though. Diplomatic range is not great. So maybe we'll have one war at some point, maybe take like a county over here just to improve our diplomatic range, but I'm not sure. So these are like the two main kingdoms around here. So if we can get our family on them thrones, that would be fantastic. But first, we do need to find somebody to marry to have children because our dynasty is just us. We are uh, Fika to get that 50% more fertility. If you can find someone else with it, that would be, yeah, look at that. Yes, yes, yes. I don't know why you look so angry, but come join. And now we can hold all eight counties. And of course, we're going to go into an intrigue focus and skullduggery. That gives you plus 10 agent acceptance. And then truth is relative allows you to fabricate hooks. So we have to decide on a first target. And looking at this kingdom, his heir already has two children. So if we can get a daughter and force a marriage, say with this child matrilineally, then eventually, we can make this kid inherit it all. His children will be of my dynasty. And that is one kingdom under our belt. But of course, we, we do need to have children first. Now, we can have multiple spouses. So let's just get them all. We just want all the children, basically. We're just going to marry them out everywhere. <laughs> yeah, so we have four spouses in total. So I'm hoping we're just going to plop out children left, right, and center. That That's the early game goal with this playstyle. Now, I did use the build from my intrigue guide video. Of course, you could just use any character. It might just take a little bit longer to get to a really good character, basically. But yeah, this is my intrigue guide setup, and it does keep you under the point limit. So if you want to use this, the stats are different now because we've also got skullduggery focus and assistance from spouse. But it's really good because temperate gives you that extra piety because we are losing some because of deceitful. And deceitful good. It gives you plus four intrigue and it allows you to study the art of scheming and arbitrary allows you to dismiss hooks, gives you that plus three intrigue and you gain less stress and more dread. Okay, there we are. We've had one daughter already. So of course, like we said, we want to marry her to him. Now they're probably not going to take a map. They will. Oh, that makes sense because he's not actually the king yet. So I think there's more chance of it. So we can matrilineally marry them. Now, if we check the succession of this, he is third in line. So we're not going to do anything just yet. We're going to let him grow up. So what we've done is we've pinned this guy because once he dies, then we're going to want to get rid of this child. So he is next in line because we don't want him to have children because then all the grandchildren get mixed up in the inheritance. So right now it's looking good. We just got to keep an eye on it. And we got some money. We may as well build like some farms and fields and that. Mainly because like we're going to need money at some point, probably just to buy agents for our schemes. So if you have a bit of decent income, it'll make it so much easier. Or I didn't even realize when I made the character, I am homosexual. So that's actually, I think, gives you less fertility, right? And there's less chance of it happening. That's a problem. I've gained the trait possessed why wait what where did that come from right okay i am possessed now as well things are going great fair enough so for skill trees we really want to rush down and get twice schemed that allows you to do two hostile schemes at the same time rather than just one my son and a okay so we're gonna educate him not marry him off and hope he turns out good another daughter this is what we need we need loads of daughters wait what? Right, so we were just looking for this other kingdom right here. And if we look at the inheritance, this guy is third in line. Now, it's minus 47 because it's a matrilineal marriage. So what I'm going to try and do is fabricate a hook on him. If we can get like a strong hook, I think we will be able to force that marriage. Then what we will need to do is murder her. And if we murder her, we've got another marriage in line. And if they go successfully, which they probably won't, when you do an intrigue, you know, sometimes your marriages will fall apart. Somebody will die. You know, stuff like that. That does just happen. Another daughter. Yeah, we're just getting loads of daughters, which is fantastic for us. Oh, the scheme got discovered, so it's had to end. Ooh, that's kind of made this a little bit more difficult. 
Hmm. Oh, no. My daughter was a stillborn. Damn. So, yeah, that is one daughter done. Every child so far has got the trait as well. Just very lucky. We just got to see what childhood trait this guy gets. Hopefully, it's something that we can work towards intrigue with. Yeah, this play style is kind of awkward at the start as well when all your kids are too young to have their own kids because, like... There's no use to putting them on the throne as a child because they won't last. It won't go successfully. They'll get overthrown. It would have been a massive waste of time. Now, Paula is gaining power. Hmm. Let's see, how about my daughter? How about your third in line? You'll take that. So now we have a matrilineal marriage with this guy's third in line. Now to fix that and get him first, we need to take out his two other sons. So it'd be a simple murder. We're not going to do it just yet. I don't think. He's only 33. We've got to make sure this kid doesn't take over. He's only seven. So I think we can leave it a couple more years, build up our intrigue, maybe get some good hooks on his spy master and his vassals and people in his court who will help us either kidnap or murder. Right, this guy, he's looking ill, right? Now we need to find this this guy's spy master. So if we just go in his court and just search by intrigue, this guy is his spy master. If we can successfully fabricate the hook on his spy master, we can hopefully force his spy master to help me murder his son. And once his son is gone, our daughter then is in line after him. Fabricate hook. Barbaric, but effective. This is an act of tyranny causing all subjects to lose five opinion of you. But we only have barons underneath me. So if they don't like us, it doesn't matter. Because you can revoke a baron's title without any tyranny. So if we increase our crown authority, then we can just revoke these guys' titles. It, it literally doesn't matter. It, like, nothing happens. So tyranny to us is not a problem. And we gain 20 dread. So now we've done that. What we need to do is get rid of this child because he's in the way. So hopefully now we can invite, use our hook, and we have his spy master on board, taking us up to a 95% chance. So if this passes, we're good. I think intrigue is sometimes just one of the most fun ways to play. Like, it's just such a fun, unique state. Like, it's so different to every other play style. Come on, if this goes well, our daughter will then be third in line after his dad. We'll let his dad take over and hopefully there'll be like a peaceful transition when this guy's like 20 odd without murdering his father. He can just take over in his own time. Hopefully they'll have some children by then as well. But at least it is set up. Oh, our daughter's giant as well. Oh, we got some pretty good children. We will educate them all. So if they are like helping lead a kingdom, hopefully they can like help their spouse and not get overthrown by boosting their stats. Ready, right. 95% chance he is killed. Defenseless. So he died under mysterious circumstances. So if we go to this, after his father, our daughter is now next in line. So hopefully we can just leave that. It's just going to take time. So I'm happy enough to ignore that for now. We will just keep an eye on them, make sure they don't, they don't die. Then if they do die, we might have to set something else up. Now there is, of course, still the question of this kingdom. Like what do we want to do with you. Your succession is... Hmm, can we get a marriage to our son? No. But if we get a hook on you, we may be able to actually. And that would put us third in line. We'd have to murder you, murder you, and hopefully this daughter does take over. I don't know if it's going to be as successful, but we're going to try it. See how that goes. So we're spending loads of money now upgrading our main duchy. And I want to check succession. Do we keep every title in our duchy in succession? Yeah, that's fine. Happy enough to our brother at the time to take other land. As long as we keep our main duchy, that's fine. We can upgrade that like crazy and get a lot of money. Or we get a strong hook on him. We're getting very lucky. So what we're going to do now is go to the granddaughter who he decided for arrange marriage. Our son and ward use hook. Then if we go to this kingdom's succession, hopefully she's third in line married to our son. So their children will, of course, be of our dynasty. So we have to get rid of you. 69% chance. So if the percent is not too good and you just want more. It's basically a case of finding this spy master, maybe court physicians and stuff like that, and getting them on your side. Now, does he have a spy master? His court physician, that actually does help. So we'll fabricate a hook on you. I can't seem to find his spy master though. Fabricate hook. Nice, we got another strong hook. So now, hopefully, if we murder you and we go to our schemes, we can invite your court physician using a hook. And we also have you. But problem is, yeah, we don't have twice schemes. Because what I'd usually do at this point is start making a hook on his spy master while the murder goes on. But we are 95% chance and 95% chance of secrecy. Scheme discovered. Oh, no. Right, we can invite some people. So I'm happy enough to just bribe some people. 150. You are another 112. Back up to 95% chance. That's basically why we want to keep building building our main duchy up and try and get good income because sometimes you just will need to use gold, right? Right, 95% chance he is murdered and 
Right, it was discovered though. We gained the trait murderer. So everybody knows that that was me. So everyone hates me now. So if he declares war, then again, he's a murderer as well. Look, we're in this together. You can't just declare war on me. You're just as bad, right? Now she does hate us, which is a problem. We did murder a family member. Fair enough. But he is second in line. We do need to get rid of you as well. 95% chance on that. That just goes to show even like with 95% chance of success and secrecy, things can still go wrong. Okay, there's a 65% chance she's killed. Should we just try it? No, we're going to keep trying, though. We do need her murdered, of course. There's nobody we can invite. We do have three agents. Wait, she just took over. Wait, what? Oh, no. The realm split up. Ugh. Oh, that's so unlucky. So basically, what's happened is the realm has split up, and now she has her own little kingdom. And our son is second in line for that. So we're actually going to stop the murder scheme, because now he's going to take straight over. We don't want that. We don't want a child to rule it, because like I said, it's not going to be stable. Now, oh, hmm... How do we... <laughs> they hate us. But yeah, hopefully once she dies, that will go well for us. We do already have eight children. Like, we are just pumping them out at this point. But we're thinking about it. If she does have a son... Oh, it's equal, actually. Okay, nice. It's equal. So I think it's just going to be, like, oldest to youngest. Not if a son's born, they go straight to the front for inheritance. So that's good. Now, how do we want to conquer Parla? So for the title of Parla, it goes this kid and then the next kid... Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. We've already made an, a marriage for it? I do not. My mind is fried. I think when you're making so many marriages, you forget. But apparently, we have married our daughter matrilineally to actually the second in line for Parla. Must have. Yeah, okay. So we have actually got someone in line for Parla as well. So what we need to do now is basically wait. Like, we don't want to murder him just... I mean, we could... Yeah, go on there. We might as well, actually. And then, second in line is our daughter, matrilineally married to hopefully the soon-to-be king. Oh, God. My daughter has cancer. We'll get the best position we can. Are you renowned? So, I trust you if we say the time has come for drastic measures. Okay, she did actually give her a massive health boost, but she did take out her eye. So, you know what? We'll... we'll, we'll that's fair enough. And we have a 95% chance this kid is murdered. See, there we are. It failed. We're going to keep trying, though, of course. We need him gone. Ah, the scheme has been discovered. We're going to have to just try and invite some people and use bribes to bring that percentage back up. 95. Okay, then let's see. We really need him gone. Right, come on. Please. Nice. So now if we check succession he is next in line because he is his father's oldest son and actually he's gained a county now please whatever you do don't kill my daughter because you're married matrilineally please just accept it i'd really appreciate that okay so parlor we do have an alliance through his son of course has just called us to war now we are going to go and help they do need our help but of course if it's a tyranny war i think that means he's deposed and then yeah our family would be next but it's a child. So we're going to try and stop that. We don't want it to happen too soon. We don't really have a big military, like a powerful one anyway. We've got a decent amount of troops, but they're not great. But if we can please help him win this tyranny war, that would be fantastic for us. Maybe if we can like catch out their armies with our allies. Why are our allies leaving us? We need your help. If we can maybe defeat this army, it's close. They just have way better troops. Come on. Come on. No, please. No, no. Oh my god. That was so close. Down to the very end. And we have just unlocked twice scheme. So we can like do two murders at the same time. Or we could do one hook and one murder, which is great. But our eldest daughter has actually come of age and she is married to Yes, okay. So that is the guy who's second in line for this kingdom. So now they're actually married and they're of age. Hopefully they can have some children. Wait, the existence of the murder you scheme is exposed. Oh my god, who is trying to kill me? I'm not surprised, but I really could do with not getting murdered right now. 5% chance. I wonder who that is. I mean, it could be anyone, like, let's be honest. An attempt on my life. Oh, it was here. Oh, no. Interesting. But it was discovered. So we're safe for a couple years. She won't be able to do them for 10 years, I think. Yeah, the problem is that whole family hate me. So, like, they're probably all going to start trying to murder me. We are up 81%. We just want this war to end at this point. It's dragging on forever. Right, victory. Okay, it did end. So he wasn't deposed. And our son and heir has come of age. Of course, we haven't married him off. Hmm. He's not great. I'm going to be honest with you. He's not fantastic. Could marry him to this genius. See if we can get some genius grandchildren. So our daughter for the parlor marriage has come of age. Problem is, he is only 13, so they're not going to have children anytime soon. That's good. They're growing up. Hopefully now they can chill, don't get their land taken, don't get killed in a siege or something just ridiculous. Oh my god. So you know for this kingdom at the top, the first thing we focused on, and this is what I was talking about when things can just go wrong, he has been intentionally castrated. So now... 
He can have children, may not marry, but he may not inherit titles. So this kid now is worthless. I don't know if there's a way to get him back into the line of succession because he was his kid. What if we murder him? Maybe. I don't know. Is that going to help? We're going to try murder him. We need some way to get the son back in inheritance. I don't know how we're going to do that. So I think what we're going to have to do is murder these three sons as well. And once that's done, hopefully the grandson is back in line. Right. 95% chance he's gone. Now he is gone. What? 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 Uh, what? What the? So, literally the same time we murdered the other guy to try and see if we could fix the inheritance, the king died of old age, completely fracturing his realm. So now our daughter is married to a count. So basically, this marriage is worthless because now yeah it's just a count that's basically what happened they're going to become our family eventually but yeah that was perfect ck3 time in now with this one down here our son is still in line and parlor our daughter is still in line but this one gone damn there's no way to get that back really now we're probably done with the schema tree we don't really need more children and this can be useful but I don't think we need it. So for the rest of this guy's life, maybe we'll try and pick up whole of body. We are now only 40 or 39, so it's not too bad. And as you can see, he looks insane. Ooh, nice. Look at that. She's got way more powerful. She's taking a lot of land. And Parla is still doing very well as well, which is fantastic. So for Parla, the next leader is this guy. And his children... Well, his son especially is of our dynasty. Have you had children yet? No. You're 19 and 17, so I think she's just come of age. So hopefully soon she gets pregnant, has a child of our dynasty, then these two are pretty secure. Now, there's not many more moves we can do in, like, India because, look, this is a child. He has no children. So it's not really any good. You also have no children. So once again, it's no good. But hopefully she is pregnant. She can pop out a few children. We can wiggle in a marriage there. That would be good for us. So for a lot of our actual children now, they're having their own children and some of them are just not married because we haven't really found a good place to put them. So it could be worth now just marrying them off to like random people who will take a matrilineal marriage. Then so that way we're having more children of our dynasty rather than them just sitting around not really being too useful. We just need our dynasty to spread because we are up to 20 living members now. So, you know, if we marry all them off and they all have four kids and then they have four kids, you know, we're going to have a lot of dynasty members. We're going to try and sway this person if possible because she is going to be the future leader of this kingdom with our son. So if we can get her to like us, that's probably for the best. I'd even send you a gift just so you're not trying to war us, really. Out living a child. That's the one with cancer. We did just marry her off, remember, to have children. I don't know who we married her to, it was just a random matrilineal marriage. So we do have this child who, who is Lispin. Wait, wait, wait. Parla's succession has changed to this guy? No, you need to be murdered. No, 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 no. We, he's getting ill, look, as well. He's got lover's pox. He's quite old. He's poor. Now, our heir is second in line for some reason. So, yeah, we need this person killed. We'll pay money. Any money, please. 90 and 95% chance. This has to be a success or we've lost Parla. I don't know why he's overtaken if he's younger. No. But where is your spy master? We need this quick, please. You. Right, we need a secret on you. We need a hook on you right now. 15% chance. Wait, I'm not ready. Okay, we can keep delaying it, hopefully, until we've got some hooks to force people to join. There you go. We gained a weak hook. So, can we invite? No. Why can't we? We have a hook, but maybe we had to have a strong one. Maybe he really doesn't want to do it. How are we going to do this then? It's only 15% chance. This is so unlucky. I cannot believe this. 15% chance. Oh my god. Right, it was successful, I think. But it was discovered. So this guy hates me now, but the primary ear can sway. We can send you gifts. We've got all the money in the world. Look, gifts, gifts, gifts. Like me, please. Did I send it to her? Oh my god, I sent it to her. But that's fine. We're swaying him now. And now if we go to the parlor succession, it does fall eventually into the hands of my dynasty. So that's really what you got to watch out for. Because if I didn't notice that and he died, well... That's that gone. So I was just thinking, if we get a hook on this guy, we can force a marriage between our grandson and his daughter. Let's see, is it it's male preference, but that's fine. We can just murder all the sons in the way. Get that set up. And if we murder you, this is all united. And it eventually will fall to our dynasty. Is that stupid? Maybe, but we're going to try it. So we need a hook on you. If that goes well, we can force that marriage and murder you. So what we're going to do is find your spy master. That would be you. Fabricate the hook on you as well. So we can use that hook to get rid of him once the marriage is set up. Oh no, the fabricate hook scheme was exposed. So that may not be successful now. So we could probably abandon that. Oh, never mind, he is facing a tyranny war and he has had a child, but... We'll leave murdering him for now then and just set up this marriage first. Okay, and we got the hook on you. So now we'll set up this marriage with our grandson who is five and this eight-year-old. 
Use a hook and not matrilineal. So do that. And she is second in line. So we have to get rid of him, which will just be a murder if possible. We can see if we can convince some guys to join us. You can be convinced for 110 gold and you can for 117. 95% chance then. So hopefully this works out well. And we also have this kingdom on lock. And it's been discovered, of course. Yes. <laughs> Just going to throw money at it and hope. Right, it's been discovered in that we've literally bribed everybody we can. And we ended up with a 31% chance. Yeah, he survived. So we'd have to wait 10 years to do that again. Not the end of the world because he'll be, what, 17? So hopefully, if he hasn't had any children, we can still get rid of him. Any other kids that may appear. And she will be in line. So it's not too bad. Oh, right. So this kingdom has split. Our daughter is in line for this. Hopefully, she does have a son soon. Before he dies, he's ill, he's drunkard. But yeah, she has taken over that part of that kingdom. So what we're going to want to do is, if possible, it's going to be a bit weird. They will accept that. We don't get an alliance though. Well, we are already allied. So hopefully we now, we just got to support them. Like we're going to send them money. Try and make sure that this person retakes the land they just lost. They will have claims. The other most powerful person is you with 2,000. So if we can pull off a murder, we can actually weaken these guys to make sure that these are uncontested. So you've got a lot of troops for some reason. A lot of levies. Where our dynasty does actually have a fair amount of men at arms so they may even be more powerful with less troops yeah we're just gonna try and get some hooks basically throughout her land like her personal champion you might be good so if we can get a hook on you and you we may be able to just murder her weaken them a lot and just keep an eye on these make sure they're supported and they're strong okay the spy master did actually just die so we gotta find out who their new spy master is i guess you who actually we're being called to a war what is this then defending against a tyranny war let's see what is it looking like we should have a court physician, so um, they're powerful in hostile schemes as well as spy masters. So we'll get a hook on her as well, and hopefully soon be able to actually murder this person. Oh, Parla has also split through death, and the next heir after this ruler, of course, will be our dynasty as well. Oh, nice. We can get a strong hook on her. You just expanded. Nice. So what we're going to do now is start the murder. We can use our hook, force you to join. It's up to 75%. And you, we can bribe. So up to 92%. And once she's murdered, it's going to fall to a child and they'll be much weaker. And hopefully this person capitalizes on that. 95% chance. There we are. So now, yeah, they're way, way weaker now. So this person is easily, by quite a stretch, really the most powerful powerful person around here and we're allied with them so if we keep building up our men at arms we can support them in wars and hopefully guarantee their success now parla is facing a tyranny war but they're able to defend that no problem and hopefully get some expanding done okay she is pregnant please be a son nope so it turns out it was another daughter but that's fine i think it's equal inheritance anyway it shouldn't really matter because they won't get the negative opinion from being a male dominated we are just continuously sending them gifts as you can see and they are actually using that money to increase their men at arms i think. Well, they're doing something with it. I just don't really know what. Maybe building? Yeah, they're building. Okay, fantastic. And we're doing the same to Parla as well. Anytime we can just send them our money. We don't need the money. They do. Oh, Parla's expanded this way? Okay, I was not, that's weird. I was not expecting that. I was hoping they'd go this way, but no, they've gone down here. Not, not quite sure why, but fair enough. As long as they're expanding, I'm happy. Carry on. These guys are getting big and powerful though, as you can see. So, they could definitely cause us some problems in the future. How are you getting along? You're at war. What is this? Oh, you're attacking. Oh, you're taking this part right in the middle. And you didn't even call us to the war because, yeah, you're dominating them. Hopefully, it should go to 100% soon. 100%. So now... Ooh, nice. Because, of course, yeah, I think you have a lot of claims. You also have a claim up here as well now. I think you actually had a claim on that whole part in the middle. So, yeah, even at this point still, we're still not on the thrones, like our dynasty. But, you know, it's the setup. We've had three daughters. That's fine. Parla's doing quite well as well. Please. Please. One. Two. Okay, so he just murdered two of his children. And that marriage we did make earlier, they are officially married. So if they have children as well. That's fantastic. We have two more people to get rid of. You, if possible, and you, but we can't murder- oh, we can murder you again now. We're gonna hold off on that one. Actually, no, let's just start them both now. Save up money, bribe people to join. Should be all good. I think if we do that, the daughter will be first in line. We can invite people here. We're going to bribe anybody we can. That's 95% chance now. And we have picked up whole of body, as you can see. We are hopefully going to live a little while. And now we're getting older. We look even eviler, don't we? Like, it's just not suspicious at all. Not at all. Everybody keeps dying and this guy is just dressed like that. And his family keep getting in really lucky situations. <laughs> 
Sweet tough, 53% chance. We'll delay that one and wait until we get the percent a little bit higher. You, though, is 95% chance. With a bit of luck, we failed on him twice. We're going to keep trying, though. We need it to pass so she can become first in line. Right, 95% chance again. This time, please. Nice. I think that one was discovered, maybe, because now everybody hates me. But it's just him in the way now. And we are working on that one as well. We're going to keep delaying it. Hopefully, we can increase that chance. And we're able to unlock long reach, which is plus 10 percent hostile scheme success chance so that's up 84 percent now that's pretty good odds we'll probably take it now when it next pops up and we can go down here see and go maybe plus 10 agent acceptance see if there's somebody else we can invite nope but that's pretty good odds and he's gone so now once he dies which i actually hmm, no we'll, we'll leave it to happen naturally i think for now anyway see if they do have some children and both of these on the next inheritance cycle will fall to our dynasty so we have him to lead the parlor kingdom and and for this kingdom, we do have her. Yeah, this guy is probably going to keep having children. Now, daughters don't matter. But if he has a son, they jump right to the front of the inheritance queue because they're male preference. So look, any son he has, I'm sorry. You're just not meant for this world. I feel kind of bad, but it's just kind of how it goes. So me and this guy's wife are rivals. Fair enough, we have murdered like six of his sons. And they've stole an artifact and we're going to duel for it. All right, then. Come on, we can't lose this. We are, we're old. We're almost 70, but you know, we still got it. Come on, let's hope. Let's see. This one has medium likelihood of success. Oh, and we won. There we are. So I think we got the artifact back. Maybe? Here we are. Let this be a lesson to you. Okay, all our spouses have eventually died. Over time, they've just died off one by one. We got uh, celibacy, so it don't matter about having children, and we just get the highest person with the highest stewardship to help boost our money. So, you know, we can keep sending all these people money. Let's, let's boost them, and you. We need how much? 150. But you are at war. What are you doing now? You are fighting. You seem to be winning on your own. That's good. So, you're not calling us to war, which is a good start. We can gain the nickname Strong Arm. We get it? No, I think we lost that event. Fair enough. She came back and beat us. What, it was that an arm wrestle? Fair enough. A little rivalry going on. 95% chance he's gone. Success. So now she is back in line. Wait, what is going on with this inheritance? So you have married your daughter away to this man non-matrilineally. So now succession is ruined. We can enforce a divorce, arrange a marriage. Look, this is disgusting. I'm sorry. But you two marry, please. Won't accept that. Why are you up there. Oh my god. Succession cursed. Maybe if we save up money and send a gift, because stop getting married to random people, please. Okay, yeah, Parlor's looking big now as well. Problem is, yeah, they're just marrying all these people off to just random people without a care in the world, ruining my plans. Wait, this person died. So we're in line for this kingdom, which once again, seems to be the most powerful one up here. But keep an eye on it. We are allied, so we can see if they get into any wars or not. But that is okay. Now, can you stop? Who are you marrying? Oh my god, she keeps just remarrying. Like, no. Oh my god. You're about... Why, right, what we need to do is save up or maybe even just murder her. She's too far away. Oh, my God. If we get actually just ruined by this, I'm not going to be happy with that. Parlor's all nice and secure, though, for a few generations. You may be, depending on how this turns out. Hopefully, you can reclaim some land. We'll send you some money. Maybe I'll just took a bunch of land somehow. Don't know what happened. I guess you vassalized someone. But if you could stop marrying my children off to random people, wasting all my renown. Or if we enforce divorce now, please just come home in my diplomatic rate. Just keep remarried. This is not... This is not annoying. I don't know what you're on about. Oh, ooh, nice. I don't know how this happened. They must have just vassalized everybody, I guess. Because I didn't see no war. But now this massive kingdom up here falls to our... What was that? Our great-grandson. You were getting on my nerves. I'll tell you that much. How much money we have as well? But you murdered my... Wait, wait, what? We are going to get revenge on that if we can. So that was you. No. Right, this guy we need to get revenge on. So we're going to pin him. He's not in our diplomatic range right now. But if he ever does come, we're, we're, we're capturing him and we're torturing him to death. But I hope my neighbors can't hear me. I must sound like an absolute psychopath. <laughs> It's just for the last, like, two hours, I've talked about murder, murdering children, abductions, kidnapping, torturing. Like, they must be concerned. You know, it wasn't even here. I thought it was here. But you're, great. You're, yeah, you're still alive having other people's children. You, and what we probably could do now, this guy's old enough, is try and murder the king of parlor. So then we can invite people, hopefully. We can just pay them. We have money. So there's not really much need in fabricating hooks, although we could if we need. We're still up to 95% chance. Another daughter died. Then once he dies now, goes to our son. We're going to send this guy a bunch of gifts just so once he does take over, he's hopefully powerful, has money to back himself up. I was discovered. So yeah, this is still 95% chance apparently. Oh. 
okay then. Oh, it's dropped down now. Yeah, this is being weird. 62% chance to go and we'll try it. And it was successful. So his kingdom is split between all our children. But it doesn't matter because look, our house, our house, our house. This one's not. But now if we go to houses, we can see, yeah, all of this is our dynasty. Now this guy in the middle is like easily the most powerful. So hopefully he can unite that. So what we're going to do, we're going to leave the, all these people to just fight between each other. That's fine. They're all our house now. And hopefully for the next generation, all our house, yeah. Murder this guy. Make her the primary heir. Marry it to someone of our dynasty. Pagan is losing a war. Oh, he's losing two. So he's defending a liberty war, which he is losing. And he's also Bengal claim on the kingdom of Pagan. Okay, so that is still our dynasty. Going to take that. That's fine. That works out for me anyway. Oh no, this guy actually won that war. So this has fallen from our dynasty now. But I mean, this guy is going to be more powerful and he should have a claim on their land. So, so yeah, hopefully he does take that back. They also Bengal did win that. I'm hoping they do take this back and expand a bit themselves. But the best we can do is just keep funding them, really, and hope things stay secure in all these people's realms. And there we are. He's given up the ghost at 90 years of age. He died from a seizure. A known murderer, he will atone for his unspeakable crimes in the next life. Now, he did pretty well in just one life. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to Observer, and we're not going to mess around anymore. And we're going to see what becomes of our dynasty, what actually happens. So I'm interested to see myself. So we've got Bengal and these two right here. And if we go to, say, the house, 65 living members. And sort of by rank, we have two kings, a duke, a count, and two barons. But yeah, succession will make that go up a lot. Okay, so it's now 955 AD. We let inheritance happen. They've been fighting each other, that kind of thing. And if we go to the house map, we can see this is our main dynasty, has all of this under control through all of these different kingdoms. Because yeah, when these people die, they just shatter. As long as all of the is are our dynasty, it's fine. This guy is extremely powerful. He's making a decent amount. He was making a decent amount of money, but now he's at war. Now, this is a cadet branch, so it is still our dynasty. So on the house map, we have all of this on the right and all of this in the center. Now, if we were still playing, we could easily now start expanding elsewhere because our dynasty is pretty powerful. Say if I just play as you, or who is the house head, actually? You. So this character down here is still the house head. So if you play as you, we're getting 29 renown per month. As you can see, it's 81 members. Also, that's four kings. And if we saw our house, there's three houses, actually. One right here, which is another cadet branch. But if we saw all members by rank, gold is king. So as you can see, there's a lot of kings. And then a few counts, dukes, and barons. But yeah, we have made a pretty powerful dynasty. But if you want to see more intrigue gameplays in the future, please do let me know in the comments. But of course, thank you all so much for watching. I'm going to end the video with a massive thank you to all the channel members. We have Intermia1, Angelus, and Victor Voss Anderson. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. And hopefully, I'll see you in the next one.